roller. I'm just going to use the end of a whisk, but you could use a rolling pin or anything sort of that's flat like that. And what I want to do is... No, Jamie, no! You were doing so good and now you... Oh. What's up guys, it's your boy Aaron again, back with another video. And today, we're going to check out this video by Jamie Oliver, how to make a mojito cocktail. But before we start, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's go check this out. Okay, lovely people, I'm gonna show you how to make the best classic mojito, the most popular cocktail on the planet. Very refreshing. That's not correct. Uh, the mojito might be very popular in certain areas, like in the Caribbean or some tourist spots, but generally speaking, the most popular cocktail in the world is by far the margarita. Very beautiful and very, very simple to make. So first up, lime. Give it a little roll just to loosen the oils in the skin. You can start to smell it. And also those little capsules of lime juice inside. You actually don't have to um, roll the lime. They also say stuff like, oh, put it at room temperature. I've even heard it put in a microwave so it comes out, juice comes out earlier, but it's like uh, lime juice and heat. It, it does not work well together. But yeah, you don't, you don't have to roll the limes out. Straight out of the cooler, they're fine. Take the end off the lime like that. Take a nice, just over a centimeter thick, like this, and then cut it into four. Why is he cutting like that? This is normally how you would cut the limes for a Caipirinha. I want about seven or eight nice leaves of mint. Try and go for the smaller ones. They're obviously younger, they're more delicate, and more perfumed. That's not true. The smaller ones sometimes have less aromas, but the bigger leaves are fine when you want to extract the aromatics. Look at that, beautiful. What we can do, give it a nice little spank. Everything in life is better with a little spank. So this is good. Yeah, you never want to muddle the mint because if you muddle the mint, it'll stress the leaves out, which will cause the mint leaves to turn brown and bitter. So if you want that freshness, yeah, a little agitation, a little spank, yeah, you can put it directly into the, the highball glass and agitate it with a spoon or even with a muddler and lightly press it, but no muddling, okay? That goes into the glass. About one... Why is he putting it with the limes like that? muddler I'm just going to use the end of a whisk but you could use a rolling pin or anything sort of that's flat like that and what I want to do is I no Jamie no you were doing so good and now you uh, do not muddle the mint we just talked about this and you should not muddle the limes as well I thought he was gonna juice it for some reason I guess he was planning to muddle it the whole time no don't muddle the mint don't muddle the limes. Juice the limes first, then make a simple syrup with the sugar and water because the sugar is not going to dissolve like that. And don't muddle the mint. Like he was right about spanking it, but if you muddle the mint, as I mentioned before, it's going to turn bitter. And worse, he's also muddling the, the lime skins in it, which is also going to produce bitter oils. So this is going to be really, really bitter. Nice little squashes. I've been in some not so good bars where you see the bartenders going do, 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 do. It makes the white bitter part of the lime extract and it makes the bitterness also come out of the leaves. Okay. okay. But this is not that much better. Yeah, he's talking about like don't shred the mint leaves, but this is the same thing. It's going to be really bitter. Let's say 15 ice cubes is good. Uh, I'm just going to get my little tea towel like this. Grab in the little corners, smash it up. Why? I thought he was setting up like a Lewis bag, but that's, don't do that. That's gonna mess up your table. Put it against a chopping board, and if you have a rubber mallet or a muddler, just crush it lightly into the tea bag. You don't need to smash it violently against your furniture like that. You can get all your aggression out. Think of your bank manager or the estate agent. No, don't, it's, Mojito should be relaxing. It's not supposed to be a punching bag. You're supposed to be enjoying this in front of the beach. Not think about work. Come and have a look. This kind of blend is nice. I like that. I like it a lot. So I'm- up I'm not a fan of that. I, I like uniform crushed ice because you're going to have clumps of large ice like this big and then other types is going to be snow. They're not, they're going to dilute unpredictably. Like ideally you could get an ice crusher or you could just get do the loose bag way where you 
hit it lightly with a you know a muzzler or a mallet and just rotate it make sure that it gets crushed evenly like when you smash it against the table like that i mean i've never done it but the outcome is right there like yeah, i'm not a fan of this only gonna fill that glass three quarters okay and then i'm just gonna top it up with a little soda water just a little splash like that no more and then we use our spoon and we just almost like cooking when you're folding things through egg whites. See, this is what he should have done in the beginning. So this is how I would make the mojito. Skip all that crap that he just did with the spanking and the cutting the limes in such a weird way and then muddling the, just juice of lime, maybe like an ounce and then put that on the side. So just throw the leaves, jostle it with a spoon, then throw in your lime juice, throw in your simple syrup and throw in your rum, put the crushed ice, put the soda water and then Skip right here. This is what he's doing correct. Just jostle it, rotate it around with a spoon. There's no need for violence. It's a very gentle drink. And cream, just fold it. And then top up with the ice. Go. That's correct too. Although I think the ice is way too fine. It's gonna dilute way too fast. Punish with a little mint. And also give it another spank. A very important uh, Italian barman told me how to do that. Always spank. Yeah, that, that's correct. That old, you know, you could spank it against the glass, you could spank it on the back of your hand, and that will release a lot of the aromatics. And when people drink the drink, they'll get that mintiness right up the nose. So there you go, guys. I hope you like that beautiful cocktail. And don't forget, you can be creative with this. Of course you can. Uh, it's really not. Wait, that's not done. You need a straw. So for crushed ice drinks, you need a straw. Otherwise, it's just gonna go to your teeth and it's gonna give you like brain freeze. Hey, if you enjoyed that, don't forget to check out these other videos as well. And please leave on the comment section on what videos I should react to next. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one.